And turning to our weather tonight, it definitely was a day with all types of weather and hopefully tomorrow as Labor Day, we're going to see a little more sunshine. Mike Everett has the details. You know what? I'll just cut right to the chase. Tomorrow is <laughs> going to be absolutely beautiful. We've got a system moving through. In fact, if you were up and out early this morning, there were some beautiful blue skies and then right around 10 a.m. that system moved in and it's still delivering some rain. This is Everett and Payne Field and the reason that I'm showing you that is it's almost directly parallel to where that crash site was earlier. So I've been taking a very close look at this for over the last few hours and if you look, I've actually got the radar loop backed up to about six hours so it starts right around 3 p.m. there and so as we zoom into that area and take a look this is more or less where that flight originated and then this is more or less where we think it went down I don't see anything that indicates that there was instability certainly no lightning in the area now of course the NTSB will do a full investigation but I don't even see much in the way of wind shear so at this point it doesn't look like weather was a factor there but again I'm not the definitive expert on that taking a look at winds right now we have seen some gusty winds across the cascades here still gusty especially down towards the southern portion and we do have some winds that are continuing to come through along the Strait of Juan de Fuca in fact we've got a small craft warning that will remain in effect until 11 p.m. tonight we've been seeing gusts up to about 25 knots again that's not unusual for this area and especially this time of year we did pick up some rain today especially off towards the northwestern tip of the Olympic Peninsula quill you getting well over a half an inch there and then if you were in the Seattle area during the dinner hour tonight we saw some sneaky showers come through there as well as we go through the rest of the evening we will continue to see some spotty showers across the region basically from Seattle north especially along the I-5 corridor but by the time we get to about 8 30 tomorrow morning things start to clear tomorrow is going to be magnificent beautiful blue skies and not particularly hot out there what we will continue to experience is that all the way through Tuesday it's going to be about Wednesday we'll see some cloud cover move back in again one thing I want to point out take a look at this temperatures will be dipping into the 40s in many spots it's been a while since we've had that 49 in Bellingham 47 will be your number in Mount Vernon, Arlington, Olympia, Puyallup. It's going to be chilly tonight. Even along the coast, we'll see some temperatures that'll be in the low 50s. Meanwhile, Seattle will be the balmy one coming in around 56. Temperatures across the region tomorrow, again, sunny but not hot. So we'll be tracking some low 70s up towards Skagit and Whatcom counties. And then as we head down towards South Sound, 76 in Olympia, 76 in Puyallup. And even along the coast, we're tracking some upper 60s and some lower 70s. So in a nutshell, your Labor Day forecast looks fantastic. We'll get it up to about 73 in Seattle. We get to carry that into Tuesday. And what's magnificent about the first full week of September is it's going to be mild and next weekend already looks fantastic.